Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be looking at the craziest Karen stories I could find on the internet. Before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and a sub. And make sure you comment Karen's aren't cool. Alright, let's get into it. So as you heard in the intro, today we're going to be looking at some of the craziest Karen stories on the internet. Now we're going to be looking at a website called BoardPanda.com at an article called 49 Stories from People Who Met a Real Life Karen. Alright, let's go. When I worked at the Home Depot, a Karen told me that she didn't want any black men to install her flooring. I was in charge of arranging her order and told her that we don't select which individuals will exactly install her floor and that she'll get who she gets. She proceeds to throw a fit about it, demands white installers, and asks to speak to my manager. I'm so glad she did because my manager's name was Duane and he was a real big black dude. Turns out she didn't want to speak to the manager. I think it would have been way funnier if she, uh, like proceeded to go and complain about having black installers install her flooring to Dwayne. Just like the audacity would just be insane. All right, the next one. It's been long enough that I think anyone involved has long since forgotten. Now I should say that this didn't happen to me personally, but it occurred in real time while I was indirectly present. I was working for a phone company in a call center. We were in training for a new scope of service and part of that training involved listening to some of those calls that may be recorded for training purposes. Normally the recordings are selected semi-randomly, but this one was specifically selected because it had happened to our supervisor in our center 10 minutes prior. Karen called us in a fury. It seems that she had discovered that her son had replaced her number on his 5 favorite numbers list with the contact information of an unknown female. She wanted us to change it back. We legally could not do that, it's not her phone, and after all, he made the change intentionally. When the agent on the call tells her this, Karen flips her crap in the way only a true Karen can. And it's the full package. Screaming, shouting, accusing us of being crooked, unfair, the customer is always right, etc, etc. At this point, I should mention that Karen was calling from the store in her, mo in her local mall. After about 5 minutes of the Karen rage, we hear the following exchange, serious authority voice. Ma'am, if you don't calm down, you're gonna have to leave the store. Most, mostly incoherent Karen raging. Sounds like, I will not calm down, they're cheating me and so forth. Okay ma'am, you're under arrest. Shocked, disbelieving pause in the Karen raging. I'm what? You're under arrest ma'am, for something muffled and intelligible. This final declaration is followed by the sound of a mobile phone clattering to the floor slash countertop from where the salesperson retrieves it uh yeah sorry about that i don't think you have to worry about this anymore she just got arrested i think the fact that she got arrested makes the story like 10 times better and you know that like when she gets to the police station she's gonna call her lawyer her husband and then she's gonna call the company back and keep complaining and then her husband's gonna be in court and he's gonna be like we have rights we do not deserve to be arrested and yeah like you know her husband's a hillbilly that's gonna start complaining about their rights all right moving on this next one's a short one but i'll probably won't provide much commentary on it just i thought it was funny but here we go i deliver appliances for best buy we had a woman call and complain that her fridge was not pre-cooled before it was delivered and that she had to wait for it to come down to temp. No one in the office was prepared for, the, prepared for that one. Just I, imagine thinking that refrigerators came pre-cooled. It's just, I think that's funny. All right, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I know it was a bit short, but I didn't have much time to like record and edit the video. So, before I go, make sure you drop the comment, Karens aren't cool, and make sure you like and subscribe. Alright, until next time, see ya.